Hello! You may have seen me say that I'm going to New York, and that is to be on Wolf 359. Wolf 359 is a podcast you might have seen me tweeting about in the past year. It is a sci-fi audio drama, and they have asked me to be a voice on their In Between Seasons special this summer that they are releasing, which has been released by the time I'm putting this video up because I have been instructed to not say a word about it before. But I know how that goes, and I'm excited to finally let the cat out of the bag. I am going to be playing Eris. She is an evil AI. So fun. I'm so excited to be a part of this project. I have been communicating with Gabrielle, the director, creator, for months now since he has supported me on Patreon, and super excited to work with them. They're flying me out to New York, and this is my BTS vlog of the whole experience. Today we are having a table read. It's remote for me, so I'm connecting over Google Hangout to the main team in New York, but there's also uh, somebody else from LA in the special, as well as Beth is from England, which is really cool. Here is the beginning of this little Wolf 359 journey. She opens the door, pushing into the festive station engineering section. The engine room, a mess of machinery. Working through it is the ship's engineer, Petty Officer Mace Fisher. Fisher! Hey, Captain. Good morning. <laughs> all right. This is the first of three rooms, each with its own challenge. Get through all three, and you can go up to the bridge. If you can't, I reshuffle the deck and we try again. If Captain Loveless presses do, but Officer Lambert presses don't, I will delete all of Lambert's memories of the crew rule books and the survival manual. And as a bonus, I'll condition his brain to reject any desire to reread any of them. And then you can go up to the bridge. I am in the airport getting ready to go to New York. I'm very sleepy. I never do a good job of getting sleep when I know I have to get up early the next day. And I got like three or four hours last night because I just couldn't go to sleep. And then I found out my flight was delayed on the way here. It's fine. I'm excited to go. I'm also very excited because I just found out I'll be seeing Hamilton tomorrow night. Thanks to my good friend, not my good friend, used to be my good friend, Donald Weber. Haven't talked to him in a while, but he was very nice to get me and Chris standing room tickets. We went to college together, and I'm super proud of him, and I'm so excited to see him in Hamilton on Broadway. It'll be the second thing I've ever seen on Broadway. First being American Idiot. Yeah, excited to be there. Hate flying and traveling. It's the worst. to the recording studio for a day of recording on Wolf 359. Got some sleep, could have used some more. It's tough when you're here because we're still on LA time, so I woke up at like five o'clock LA time this morning and it felt like five o'clock, but it's okay. Hopefully gonna grab some coffee on my way to the studio, which I can walk to. And then after I get done recording today, Chris and I have like the most full day of New York activities. We're gonna go to Central Park. We're gonna go see Hamilton. I'm excited. Rhea, can you pinpoint the location of our nearest crew member? Fisher, in engineering. Right. I'm going to switch this off. The moment I do, we go. Ready? Ready. Day three of recording. Special episode, section 20, take one. Uh, wait, what? 
Why would a monster from the book you're reading end up here and on the Valkyrie? What the hell is happening here? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you haven't figured it out by now. <laughs> oh, very, very good, Dr. Foyer. It takes most crews a lot longer to work that one out. Mary Kate, mm -hmm. really good on the, oh, what a fun theory, let's test it. Mm -hmm. I would say, I couldn't see if you were already doing this, but I would say give these guys some kind of cue. Okay. Like maybe like on three, you can raise your hand like you're going to oh, press a button right. and yes. sort of lower it. And then when they all freak out, your hand yes. stops going down. Okay. What's the first challenge? There's two doors in that room, the one you just came through and the one that leads towards the bridge. How do you get it to open? Uh-uh. Patience. First, you need to get your lifelines. Let's start with phone a friend. Mm -hmm. So, challenge the first. Yes. Try after the so in challenge so challenge the first after the so. Yes. Try clapping your hands like so. Oh. Okay. Challenge the first. Okay. Yeah. Just to give that a slightly different rhythm. Okay. Contestants, here are the rules. In front of each of you, there are two buttons. One of them says do, and one of them says don't. With me so far? Yes. Yeah. In just a moment, you'll both get to pick one of those buttons, but you won't be able to see what the other person is selecting. Privet. Dimitri. Privet. Dimitri. All right. All right, I think that that is it then. Am I done? I think you're done. I think that's a wrap for you. Woo woo! Nice job. Thanks awesome so much. <laughs> Yay! I'm with Chris and we're in Central Park, which I've never been to before. Look <laughs> at that lake. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Hey Chris. Hey Mary Kate. How hot is it? So hot. So hot. So hot. <laughs> Enjoying Central Park and sweating our butts off because <laughs> guess what y'all it's really hot in New York we had just had dinner at Nizza Nizza in I Z Z A and it was great and I recommend it if Hell's you're gluten-free in Hell's Kitchen because they have lots of gluten-free pastas and pizzas and I got pasta and gluten-free bread and it was really good and now we are going somewhere and that's to Hamilton that's to Hamilton we're going to Hamilton! It's gonna be amazing. I can't believe it. It's my second Broadway show ever. And I'm only here Definitely. for one day and I somehow managed to see <laughs> Hamilton and I think everybody's mad at me. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Hamilton! <laughs> So we just saw Hamilton, <laughs> and it was amazing. It was amazing. And I cried a lot, and it was really good. And we stood the whole time, and my legs are tired, but it was <laughs> worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're waiting for our friend Donald, and yeah, it was great. It was great. We saw Hamilton. Oh my God. So I'm here on the Hamilton stage with my friend Donald, what? who's in the show, and what? he is so awesome, and what? I couldn't be more proud of him. What? He's so bad. <laughs> he just gave us a backstage tour, and it was so rad. Thank you, Donald. You're welcome. Thank you for getting us tickets tonight, Fight On. Fight On. Woo-woo. Just in Times Square, you know, just Pretty cash. Times Square. Here we are. Times Square. Wow. Wow. Alright, so <clears throat> done it all, did a job, I look real tired because I am. <laughs> Come here, walked what? around Central Park, saw Hamilton, it's been, a, Hamilton. it's been a full New York trip. It's been the best New York trip. It's been the best New York trip and it's been very short and now I have to go home and get four hours of sleep and then <laughs> go back to LA. But thank you for showing me a wonderful time. Always come back. Thanks to Wolf359 for bringing me out. And Donald Weber Jr. of and Hamilton. Donald Weber Jr. Absolutely. for getting us tickets to Hamilton, which was amazing. Yay, bye New York. Bye. Come back soon.
This video was sponsored by my wonderful patron, Brandy Hillier. Brandy, thanks for making adventures like this one possible for me. You're the best.